I've seen Freon play against Pikachu's before. Freon versus Neptweb. And he knows this matchup. Uh, I, like, the, the biggest thing you can point to is Freon uh, had that set win on, on Bark at an uh, even bigger belt. And that was years ago, but that was sort of when Freon like, broke into the scene as like a really good player. Yeah. It was like up against Bark, uh, taking that set win and placing like second or something at even bigger belt, and then right after at ODS, placing like third. I think this is such a hard matchup for Luigi. It, but it really is, but if you know it, like yeah. Freon. Like Freon is playing so patient. You can tell he's not, he's not fishing for anything big. Yeah, he's just getting his guaranteed follow-ups. He really likes those binding up airs, and that should be not be new to him yet to even damage him. <laughs> Look at the edge cancel. It's being cute. That is so hard to do. He's got the invincibility there. Is that a jab grab? Nice jab grab. Yeah, there's the bounce again. He's been going for that fireball bounce like every time. I don't think it's done anything yet. You, you, you cannot allow Luigi to down air you if you're Pikachu. You can. It, it's the easiest move to counter. <laughs> Yeah. And it's so good, it sets up all this stuff. That's why I think this matchup's so hard. Luigi can't do his bread and butter if, if uh, Pikachu just doesn't let him. Got Freon off the stage. How's he gonna enter? Just, yeah, Freon is so on top of uh, exactly how long the, the ledge invincibility lasts for. He's very patient with it. He's, he's not forcing the situation, he's covering on his terms. That time he did get caught trying to go for like a dash in uh, up there probably. And, oh, good edge guard from Newton. Oh, yeah, great festival. Got out of the way of the fireballs and hit him while he was still in the end lag. So establishing that Freon can't just shoot as many fireballs off stage as he wants from wherever he wants to. He will go out there and kick you in the face for it. Kick you. So yeah, it's a good thing to to let your opponent know early on in the set that you're aware of and you're ready for that. Just gives free and one more thing to have to worry about next time he recovers. Yeah, I mean, especially in this matchup where it's, I, I think it's all about Pika denying Luigi his, his options, which he normally has. And yeah, see, that time, he played the situation yeah. the same way Freem was ready with the early up B. And now he got, he got to punish the landing lag. Yeah, and the high up B is not, like, the answer for sure. It's definitely something that new team can play around. That's the thing, Pika has enough options to suffocate Luigi off stage. Great up smash. Yeah. Yeah. Like already, Newtube is adjusting a lot in this match and starting to come back into it. Remember that Freon took the first two stocks unanswered. So Newtube has definitely been winning since then. Freon just needs like one up air at this point. That was missing cancel. Yeah, All right, everything's fine. Newtube has to play so well to avoid these uh, up airs at this point. Yeah, exactly. So you're spacing around Luigi's up airs. You know that's going to be his go-to. You have bigger aerials than him. You're, even your up air is better. You just can't afford to lose those, those tight spots. And that's where the magic knowledge comes in. Luigi has no hit spots. He's the best character. <laughs> so Luigi, free and taking game one there. But uh, now without some cracks starting to form in the armor. Having a single new two. Switching to Captain Falcon, even though he was honestly coming back pretty well with Pikachu, this is an interesting choice. I wonder if he just saw like Freon demolishing Penny's Falcon a second ago. I think part of the problem is when you're when you're doing these tournaments, especially when you're down in the first game, if, at least I start thinking immediately, oh, who am I playing next game? You know, I'm obviously going to lose here. Who am I switching to? Because i got to change something. Forgetting that he had adapted pretty well in that second half, probably could have taken the game if he played it just as well as he did in that second half. So it's, it's tournament stuff. Yeah. I mean, I've not really seen much of Noob Tube's Falcon. I know Noob Tube. Yes, he can say he's got pretty clean movement right now. Yeah. <laughs> This is definitely uh, how you want to play this matchup. Just oh, look at that, the ledge. Luigi out with back. <laughs> the dash cancel into yeah. the down tilt. Yeah, he teetered on the ledge and then immediately down tilt it. Yeah, NoobTube is uh, looking ready for this matchup. Look at that. I'm so shocked quick. how good his Falcon can move. Had no idea. The back area Great crouch back cancels. And I like him not going to the ledge early either. Like, don't go to the ledge right now. Why would you? He's just going to shoot a fireball. You gotta wait. You gotta wait all those fireballs out. Go out and punish him. 
Noob2 oh. has to not get antsy trying to find the stock. He caught there. the double jump there, so all he has to do is hold the ledge. Yeah, Freehan giving up the stock. Lizzie can't make it back. Oh, <laughs> it's caught the shield. Oh, yeah, good. Opting for the downer. Yeah, that definitely opened up some very interesting options that obviously didn't play out, but yeah. I think that's better than doing another up air. Oh, yeah, another up air. You're not going to, you're going to get, like, Luigi away from you, but you're not going to follow up. You don't have any more opportunities. It's still playable because Falcon's up air is so good. Well, I think he would have gone for, like, an up B. Wow, I'm surprised that B reached there. I thought he would go for the down B. Free and catching him on that. Goes for the edge cancel between stocks again. <laughs> so hard to hit that. Oh, I think it's an accidental dash through the shield. It's gonna grab. I think it's a turn around grab. Oh yeah, that upper is not safe yet. Can't follow up on that. Oh, testing Luigi yeah. in the air. He's got no jump here. Outraging him. Yeah, free and once again without a jump. Oh, he's got a jump. Is he? Oh yeah. yeah. He's doing the oh, roll of windows move. Caught him once again, being a bit too greedy with the fireball placement. So, despite my, my doubts, the YouTube's Falcon counter picks working out very well so far. Looking a lot more prepared for this matchup than I expected when I saw that pick. Just another big punish. Yet, oh, misses the jump. It's a little head shake from YouTube there. Definitely wanted to just finish off that combo. Ooh, that's tough. Oh, that's okay. Ooh, okay. He so, got yeah, kind of a get out of jail free card. Green going for the immediate ledge drop to yeah. punish Falcon. But unfortunately, but, uh, it's caught. Does that be? Yeah, that's the danger of going for that drop off ledge under the fireball like Nimtoon has been doing, is if you're at all late to it, you get clipped, and then Luigi up he clips you, and now you're off stage, and he's on stage, and he just quickly devolves. Just, yeah, it all falls apart as soon as that fireball clips you. He's up the stock though, using this taunt cancel, Look at this he's looking like stranded or something. Yeah, that's, that was, <laughs> that was stranded stuff. It's crazy that a, like a D3 player who doesn't even main Falcon is moving this well with Falcon. It, again, it demonstrates just the depth of skill in a tournament like this. That being said, Freeman starting to inch back into this game one stock at a time. He has now evened things up, and NoobTube needs to re maintain his composure. Not play into Luigi's end here. And you can tell Fran's really fishing for it. Yeah, you don't really need to fight it. This is great. Okay, go for the down. down there. Yeah, for sure. Oh, and he goes for the no tag. I'm sorry, he got some. The grab. The shield pressure jab oh, grab, of course. Grab. The bounce fireball finally does something. Oh, no. Dream's We've dead. been waiting the whole set for that fireball to work. And on the very last stock, it's Fran <laughs> makes the comeback. Taking the set over YouTube, who demonstrated a very scary and well practiced polished Falcon there. Yeah, it's very clean. Uh, it just it wasn't quite enough, but yeah. you know, again, remember 